What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Basic Survival Tips. This is your host, Benjamin Brown. I um, hope everyone's having a great day. Um, it's a nice sunny day, but today I'm in the uh, shade of this oak tree here. Um, today I'm going to be showing how to make a bushcraft survival fork in the wild. Um, my last video was on how to make a spoon. Um, now, the spoon, I made two spoon videos. Um, the last one was how to do a fine finish one. Uh, this is, if you're out in the wild, how to make a fork. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, of course, the next thing you're going to want to do is, uh, if you can see the uh, rough design I have out for it here. Um, now, I'm going to rough carve this out and then... Uh, I'll keep explaining as I go. And cedar is a uh, it's a non-toxic wood, but it's a it's a good solid wood, but yet it's not so hard that it's uh, not super hard to carve. So it's very easy uh, to whittle um, and carve down. So. It just shaves basically right off. It's a good wood to carve with, and it smells nice carving with it as well. Now, if you're out in the wild, um, if you don't, if you can't find a cedar wood, you uh, want to remember that you want to try to find at least uh, a good oak tree, a good oak limb, um, a cherry tree if you can, um, or woods like that. You don't want to use any toxic wood like uh, pine wood or poplar. There we go, once you get kind of the uh, handle uh, rough carved out or cut out, um, you just kind of keep working on it to get it down to the size that you want and then you start working on the actual fork part. Now once you get it rough carved out to about the size where you have the marking um, you want to kind of stop because you still want to have a good sturdy um, amount to hold on to to be able to carve this out. Now, as you see here I have lines and I'm going to show you how you can cut these out. What you're going to want to do is if you have a uh, Swiss Army knife or uh, any kind of good uh, multi-tool um, knife um, you're going to want to take the saw out and you're going to just cut right down these lines. It can be a bit awkward if you don't have a good uh, support method.
anyway this may take me a few minutes so you get the general idea and uh i'll come back once i have it these uh these cut out and show you where you go from there Now once you get it all rough cut out, it should look something like this. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, remember if you're out in the woods, you're just going to want something that you'll be able to poke uh, and pick up whatever uh, food you're fixing, whether it be uh, potatoes or wild potatoes or meats or what have you. So you just want something that's pokey enough that you'll be able to pick up your food. So let's get this out of the center here. And you're gonna to wanna to be careful. Now these don't have to be um, as long as I made them. Um, but it does help if you can. Now you may, you may, uh, you may not have a uh, saw or a uh, multi-tool um, if you're in a survival situation. So what you can do is if you want to make like a spork um, is you can carve little notches um, in the end of a spoon or you can make you a fork separate with little notches that you can uh, carve out with your knife. Uh, you can kind of carve it out like this. But um, if you have a multi-tool saw, um, that's really good as well. This is tedious because I don't want to break teeth here. Hang on. Have some ch chisels here. And also having bushcraft tools, um, if you want to make these uh, as a hobby or something, they uh, they really help. Um, they really come in handy having them. This little one just don't want to come out. Okay, after you get all the uh, notches out. <laughs> and uh, everything um, it's all cleared up um, now you can start working with it now you can go back to your multi-tool whether it be uh, by Gerber or uh, whatever company you uh, like they normally have files on their knives sometimes it's on the saw blade uh, sometimes it's a separate one um, is you you're going to want to kind of kind of to smooth smooth the wood out in between from where you rough cut it from where you rough cut it sorry gonna want to smooth the end, uh, the insides of the teeth out. Now, once you uh, smooth them out and you can do more smoothing um, as you go along, um, you're gonna wanna carve the back of it. Um, and you're gonna wanna carve this in and kind of have a, uh, a loop going down like that. So let's get into that. You want to be careful with the teeth. I probably should have done this before I cut the teeth out. What I should have done, but you're gonna want to carve 
carve it kind of at a spoon angle like a normal fork has that slight little curve you want to get kind of a slight curve in it let's work from the back Now once you get these uh, carved out a little bit more, you can take uh, your chisels or um, your bush crafting tools and uh, you can start kind of whittling this out to uh, get the, the dip, a little curve in the fork. Um, you don't have to do this. Um, this is kind of just to uh, give it more of a scoop. And uh, I'm going to start working on the back here to uh, make it more curved. Um, so. Hopefully y'all can see this. Here it is so far. I'm gonna make the handle smaller, of course. So, um, so yeah. So I'm gonna start working on that now. Or again. Now, if possible, you want to keep this, the uh, shavings, because uh, the cedar wood is a very good fire starting. Um, you want to keep this if, if it's possible. So if you're like carving on a table indoors or something like that, um, keep this because these are really good shavings to uh, keep to start a fire. They catch a spark really easily. And also the bark. The bark is a very good, if you don't have any tinder, or anything with you and if you're out in the woods in a survival situation the bark is a very good uh, tender you take it and you rub it in between your hands and it makes it really fine so it'll catch a spark so I'm gonna carve this down and I'm gonna show you all the fin when I'm finished well here we go everybody this is uh, the bushcraft fork all finished as you can see here now it's rough. Uh, this is, I'm showing how you can make one if you're in a survival situation out in the forest. So it's not going to be perfect, but you can get it pretty close. Um, so yeah. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a big thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the notifying bell. Uh, I will be posting a lot of uh, other videos and content that'll have. Um, a bunch of interesting stuff in it I hope for you all and I will be showing um, maybe in my next video or the one after I'll be showing how you can survive with these out in the wild so be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to my channel thanks again everybody